man, oh man. I've got to say, I've been putting quite a few miles on the Ford lately, and I'm absolutely in love with this truck. You might be wondering, hey, are you going to the dark side for sure? Are you staying there, or are you going to stay dominantly a Dodge slash Ram guy? That's where I'm at. That's what I still love the most, but I got to say, in terms of a daily driver right now, stocks, big mutters, driving this thing on a long trip, being able to take it into smaller areas, actually be able to go through drive throughs and stuff like that, it's kind of nice. You know, it's pretty convenient, and I still have all the features of a truck if I really need it. You know, I've got some grip if I go off-road. I've got a bed to haul something. It does have seat massagers, which I do have mine on right now. It's it's really nice. The thing is super comfortable to drive, and I love it. Anyways, guys, hopefully you're all doing absolutely great. That stuff is all cool, but it's not really that important. The important thing is that I'm happy with the truck that I purchased, and I love it. And I do. We're actually on our way over to my parents' farm where I'm going to be picking up some parts for nasty red because dad's got a handful of things on that truck that he was just not really the most excited about so he ordered some parts to kind of make those problems go away so we're gonna go over there grab some of the stuff and actually install just a couple things for him on that truck not to mention you guys haven't really seen a lot of nasty red lately so we're gonna be doing that a little bit more today hopefully you guys are just as excited as I am to see these new parts on the truck people look at you crazy when you're like vlogging and driving they're like bro what are you doing, man? Like, why, do, why are you holding the camera up and filming yourself while you're driving? Well, it's kind of what I do. I still look at the road most of the time. I just kind of randomly look at the camera to make it look like I really am paying attention to the camera, but really I'm more focused on the driving aspect of what I'm doing right now. But anyhow, we're on our way to the barn. We're gonna be there in a little bit. We're gonna grab some parts, head on over to my parents. We're gonna get to working on a few things on Nasty Red. You know what, I'm not gonna turn it off because it is 89 degrees outside right now, like actually. And I gotta tell you guys, I'm not gonna miss the hot weather. Anybody that says they love weather that's over 85 degrees, you are absolutely out of your mind. And that's just my opinion. It's not like a factual statement that you're not allowed to love weather over 85. But if you ask me, it is too, too hot. But maybe it's just because I'm a fall person. I love the fall, I love the winter, I just love like the aspect of it, the coolness, keeping warm. Like when you're outside, you're moving around, you're doing stuff all the time, it's easier to enjoy it when you can keep like a constant cooler temperature than like scorching and you just like melt your flesh off as soon as you go outside. And it didn't even get that hot here. I mean, it can get 100 degrees here in the summer on and off, but like for the most part, it, it doesn't even get that bad compared to some of the places down south in the states or way out west. I mean, we have it pretty good here, but I gotta say, I'm just not a fan of the hot temperatures. So over here, we've got the parts for Nasty Red. I'm not gonna show any addresses on stuff. I believe this is the grill. Actually, I'm gonna knock those boards over, so I'm gonna set this right up here. Here's the grill. Here's the um, Cummins emblem, I think. In terms of these parts, I think these are steering components, and these are traction bars. I might actually take those over too as well because I don't need them for today, but when I do take this truck up to Devin soon, he's gonna need those parts, and I don't really wanna come back here to get them again. Heather Gray on the front, red on the back, and the new loud and proud diesel trucks lanyards. Metal clip down here, buckle to quick detach. Well, we are back here with the nasty red, and I gotta tell you guys, I'm not too thrilled to be out here right now. I'll tell you why. It is so hot out. Like, I literally looked out the window this morning, and I started sweating, thinking about 90 degree weather. Just not a fan of it. So we're gonna be trying to get the grill swapped out here first on this truck. I don't know what all we're gonna do. I don't know. But anyhow, so we're gonna get to swapping out this, well, not really swapping out the grill, taking off the clips with a broken piece of plastic in it and getting a new grill put on. Here's the new grill. It is just an all black grill. There is no um, chrome. Why he went with all black, I really don't know. But since he bought this grill, we're gonna put this grill on. He also bought a Cummins emblem for the front. So we're gonna get that thing pulled out there. These are pretty easy to stick on if you've never done one. Peel off the adhesive protection film off the back. Sticking to everything. Make sure it's just clean and I just took the plastic off that spot. And then that's pretty much it. And then you just kind of press it on. Make sure it stays there. But anyways, it's pretty much all good to go. We're gonna get to putting this on Nasty Wood right now. So here's what it looks like currently. Okay, just so you can see, no grill, no grill girl, okay, nothing. 
That's what he's been driving around looking like. So we're gonna get the grill on, and see how much better that looks. And she's done. So we got the grill put on, it's pretty simple. Just a few little metal clips and screws. It had a scratch on it when I got it out of the box. I didn't do that to it. It was already there. We got the Cummins emblem in place. Pretty much the same style that it had before on, except it doesn't have the red painted inserts, which my dad wasn't really a fan of. He didn't really like the red painted inserts, which really isn't a big deal. So we just got that new grill, and not only that, but the grill had broken and fallen off from being open and closed so many times, and those brittle original clips just kind of gave way over time. So the grill was really due to be replaced, and it does look really good. Now, we are gonna be swapping out the mirrors. That's the look of it now. And uh, I gotta say, still looking classy. Just really hard to beat the look of a second gen. What is up everybody? It is the next day. I just got a new haircut because, um, well, it was getting a little bit out of control. So we are on our way over to the house right now. We're gonna see if we can pick up Reagan and then we have to go back to my parents' place and I'm gonna try to install the mirrors today on Nasty Red. And I'll show you what we got in store. I think it's gonna look really good and it's really gonna tie in the mirrors to the grill and the grill to the mirrors, vice versa. And it's gonna look really good on the truck and it's gonna be a good change. Which gear we in? Okay, that's what I'm talking. Man, you can't go nowhere in neutral. Keep forgetting that. So, new patch hats on the website. Go check them out. They are flying. Grab them while you can. Dad's back here right now, so I'm gonna go see what he's up to. I don't know if he's getting ready to leave or if he's gonna be here a little bit, but we're about to find out. I don't want to box him in here though, so I'm gonna park out of the way. I'll ask him what he thinks about the grill on Nasty Red. See what he says. Grab my hat. You ain't dressed until you got your hat on. It's got a grill. Yeah, I noticed that. I was kind of getting used to it without. It actually doesn't look too bad. Once it gets the mirrors on, it'll look pretty darn good. Yeah, black mirrors and the aftermarket black grill. And that'll clean up the look real good. Yeah, you know, it didn't need one. It was pulling it off pretty good, but the grill look is just better. We did get the mirrors put on Nasty Red now, so I'm going to show you those a little bit up close. I'm not sure what the brand were. I thought it was like Timber Ridge or something weird, but um, they're supposedly like a super high quality plastic mold and a super high quality glass and just way, way higher quality than the stuff that we had on there before. And Dad said he wanted black mirrors. He didn't want them to be paint matched because the paint match color was just, a, just off enough to where it kind of bothered him. So we got the fourth gen mirrors on there. He said he likes the fourth gen style better. Both sides, of course. And then we've got the black grill, which kind of ties in together as well. So in the end, I think it looks really good. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. What do you guys think? Do you guys like the fourth gen mirrors more? Yes or no? Let me know, comment down below. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, smash that thumbs up. Leave your comments down below. Go grab yourself a Loud and Proud Diesel Trucks t-shirt, cap, keychain, lanyard, decal, whatever it is, wristband. Get entered to win my 2019 Ram 3500 limited edition truck. Whether you wanna keep it, trade it, sell it, take the cash, do whatever you want, that truck could be yours. Every $5 is one entry to win. It's this simple. Go to the store, select an item, check out, you're automatically entered to win. The giveaway for that truck ends October 27th, so do not miss out. That is about 25 days left, and then it's gone. Thank you guys so much. Information down in the description below. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.